Hey guys and welcome to another news video. Today not specifically about Battlefield, but about EA and how Russian gamer accounts should be treated during the war. I don't want to get political myself at this point, just want to inform you about this, but feel free to share your opinion in the comments below if you want to. And if you want to discuss with each other, please keep it respectful. So the first tweet that I saw this morning was from leaker and business insider Tom Henderson, who was talking about an internal mail that employees of EA have received. Allegedly, EA has said they will be removing Russian teams and players from FIFA and NHL games due to the invasion of Ukraine. If this is real or not wasn't officially confirmed yet, but after the removal of the Russian helicopter skin from Battlefield 2042 last week, it's very likely. Whether the removal will only be temporarily or not was not mentioned in the tweet or any of the replies. Instead, a lot of people were asking what will happen with Battlefield now since Russia is one of the two factions of the game. But there's also nothing known about this yet. To me it gets more and more likely that DICE will remove the Russian side completely from the game and replace it with a fictional faction. But that's just speculation right now. I gotta be honest, I would rather see EA donating money to the Ukrainian Red Cross or other charities that help people to deal with this instead of removing skins or anything. Cause EA as one of the big publishers hasn't done anything like this so far, while small indie studios like Hinterland Games from Canada already donated more than $100,000 at the end of last week, so it might be their turn now to show some support. About one hour after Tom Henderson's tweet, the Ukrainian Vice Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov, who is also the Minister of Digital Transformation, shared a letter who is addressed to all game development companies and esports platforms around the world. In this letter he appeals to temporarily block all Russian and Belarusian gaming accounts from all platforms and also stop the participation of all Russian and Belarusian teams and gamers in international esports events. The associated tweet was also addressed to Xbox and Sony and in the replies people added even more gaming developers and platforms such as Steam, Epic Games and so on. I'm not quite sure if this would be the right step, since I always found that gaming connects people, especially people from different countries, and I'm not sure if it would be good to isolate the Russian citizens even more from sources of information from all over the world. But let's see how developers, publishers and the big stores will react to this and what their opinions are. Maybe some of them will respond. And that's it for now. As usual, I will keep you updated with what's going on around Battlefield and maybe a bit more of what's going on in terms of gaming in general in these strange times. Like I said, feel free to share your opinion and discuss the topic, but stay respectful. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.